Yes, you read the title correctly. Robot babies do indeed exist. I used to go to a school that we'll call AS that made 8th graders use them. I never had to take care of one because I left in 7th grade, but while I was there, I hated them. But Diamond, you said you've never used one, so how do you know if you hate it? Well, I've seen said 8th graders use it and I know a little bit about how they work. So today, my unqualified stick figure self is going to talk about why I hate robot babies with a fiery passion. We all know about real babies, right? They're cute, they're small, and they're easy to carry around. However, they cry very loudly, which could be for a number of reasons. They either have to use the bathroom, but can't go yet because they haven't done this whole living gig long enough, or they can't go to sleep because mommy has to pay bills and daddy is busy yelling at people over the phone. And they do not care whether you're out shopping or need to clutch up in a CSGO comp match. They will cry when they need something. That's how a robot baby attempts to be. Minus the cute part. It comes with special software that programs it to cry when it needs something. Oh yeah, and you also have to support its head properly, or else this happens. <coughs> and then it shuts off because you killed it, you monster. Your objective is to figure out what exactly the heck the baby needs and get it taken care of as quickly as possible before it dies, taking your eardrums with it. And the best part? All of this can occur at random. It's good to have all these features because it gives people somewhat of an idea of how to take care of a baby in a realistic scenario, but let's be honest. Most people are going to take babies more seriously when they're actual babies. While the actual process of feeding and changing a robot baby is very similar to taking care of a real one, it still feels like you're just getting a robot to shut up rather than trying to make a baby happy. That's why people duct tape the bottle to its chest to feed it, but they don't do the same with a real baby. The truth is, it's impossible to really care about the robot baby because it's a freaking robot. A lot of my hatred for robot babies comes from AS's childcare program. Here's how it worked. Essentially, you would sign up at some point during the year to take care of the robot baby and they would work out a good time slot for you. Apparently, it was best to sign up as early as possible since the workload got to be a bit much for middle school around the end of the year. And once your time came, you would be graded based on how quickly you could do the animatronics bidding. On top of that, you were required to write a summary of each night that you had the baby. I don't know what you had to write, but I don't think it was anything too crazy. That's not the most annoying part though. What really drives me up the wall though, is the fact that you had to take care of the thing 24 seven, even during school hours. Like what kind of sense does that make? Just imagine, the teachers are giving an important lecture and suddenly the little demon acts up. That's happened more than once, and every second of it was very awkward. Of course, taking care of the thing isn't difficult, but I could tell everyone thought it was super stressful, and a lot of people complained about it. There were quite a few moments when we would have some time to ourselves to catch up on work, and if someone had the baby, they would sometimes have to end up doing its bidding, which distracts them from their work, which could potentially bring their grade down. It's like telling someone to run three laps in two minutes on a big track, and then randomly handing them a sack of potatoes to carry it because it builds character. It just makes absolutely no sense to me. So far, I've been telling you all these horrible things about robot babies, but I haven't told you why AS and other schools were thinking they were such a great idea. Well, the point of schools using the robot baby is, drum roll please, to stop teenage pregnancy. It could also be used to teach teenagers about parenting when they get older, which I'll admit is useful, but I feel like it was really just to show them the consequences of having sex. Regardless though, I don't think it works. The main reason for that is because I think most teenagers make decisions based on their own past experiences rather than what the consequences are. You could hand Tom a robot baby and tell him, this is what you'll have to deal with if you have sex, but he's more than likely gonna say, yeah, sure thing. Didn't happen last time I did that. That's just what I think, but I'll link to a Times article in the description that mentions a study which I think supports my theory as to why the robot baby was such a failure pretty well. The motive isn't bad, but I really just don't like the idea. And based on how teenagers behave, we know it doesn't work. The way the robot baby was used at AS has a lot of problems that make it ultimately a less appealing approach to teaching kids how to parent or not to parent, depending on how you look at it, but I'm not the type of person to say that something objectively has problems without saying why and at least trying to provide a solution. So here's mine. 
Instead of having the robot baby be mandatory, I'd say to have an optional after school class where parents can volunteer to bring their babies in to teach kids how to take care of a real kid. That way, students can decide whether having children is really worth it or not because they can see if they like the personality of small children and they can decide whether all the maintenance required is a deal breaker for them or not. Okay, maybe that's not the best idea, but I think the best way to give students experience with a baby is just to hand them a baby. Actually, you know what? We should all just play babysitting mama instead. I don't think you need to watch this entire video to get the point I'm trying to make. I really hate robot babies. At least, I hate the way AS used them. It served as unnecessary stress and inconvenience for everyone, even the 7th graders. It would be better to just have them be optional for both, but I can understand why they don't do that since the robot baby is really expensive and to buy it just for no one to use it would be just as pointless as Brie Larson making a YouTube channel. But that's just my thoughts. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and until the next one, I'm gonna go buy a robot baby and throw it off the top of the Empire State Building. Have a good one.